Okay, so I'm going to make a quick video showing you how to use the um, City Index app on the iPhone. Uh, on the, you can see it here. It's called City Trading. So uh, that's the name of the app. Let's just tap it to open it. Um, the first thing you see when you uh, open the app is the login box. Now you can, um, I've got it set to re, um, to remember me, so I don't have to type my password in every time. But if you're kind of worried that someone else might gain access to your device, it's best to uh, turn this off so you'll be prompted to have the password uh, every time. But I've got it turned on. Um, so let's go ahead and log in. So the first thing you see when you open the app is uh, an overview of your account summary. Here you can see um, how much cash I've got in total, my current profit or loss. Um, so I've got one trade open. I think that's about £6.70 down at the moment. Um, and, and the net equity and margin here. Going into the market, you can see at a glance what is the most um, popular. It defaults to this popular tab. So <clears throat> we can go up, scroll up and down. Um, UK 100, Wall Street are uh, usually at the top there. That's the, some of City Index's most popular markets. Pound against the dollar as well. Um, and then going down, you'll see which is the most active uh, today. Um, Lloyd's, RBS, Barclays. If you just want to see how a particular stock is doing, you can um, you can easily search for it. Um, you've got a choice between spread betting or CFDs. We're just going to look at um, what spread bets uh, City Index has on Vodafone. So you can see um, it's brought up all the kind of markets that it offers on Vodafone. It's got the um, day trade and as well as the quarterlies like the June, March and the, and the rolling. If you want to go ahead and make a trade all you have to do is click the click the trade button. Uh, after a second or two it'll just update with the, the latest price. Making a trade on the app is really simple. It's actually faster than going onto the website. Um, you just click which way you want to which way you want to go. Um, and just just fill out the fields. So one pound. Um, set your limit. Set your stop loss. Um, and then once you're ready, just make the trade. After a few seconds, you get the trade confirmation pop up. And then. You can come back to the trade at any time by tapping the open positions. So this screen is showing me uh, the two trades I have open. There's the Vodafone one that we just made, as, and there's the BWIN Party uh, trade that I have open from a while ago. Um, you can see this BWIN Party trade is making a uh, is six pounds seventy down right now. So let's say this is this is set to, set to expire in June. It's uh, that when I'm making this video is March. Let's say I want to close that out. Um, I could just hit close, and then it'll automatically bring up the right trade for me to um, for me to kind of uh, exit this bet. So uh, all I've got to do is click sell, and this trade will exit, and I'll take my loss. I should get a confirmation come up in a minute. There we go. If I tap the watch list, here you can see all the trades, all the um, the markets that I'm watching. So I'm watching, I'm still watching B and Party. Now um, there's no need f really for me to to watch this stock anymore since I've closed my uh, closed my bet so I can just go in there and um, remove it from the watch list and it won't show up anymore. C index gives you access to charts on the app as well that's quite a powerful feature that you have access to. Um, let's just go in and check that out. Let's take Vodafone for example. Let's look at its, um, its rolling spread. So we can see a quick, uh, you can see the small chart here. We can get a much more detailed chart by uh, clicking that, by tapping that button, and here you can see it's brought up. Uh, it's the standard kind of candlestick view. Um, you can scroll left and right and get historical data. If um, if I rotate the phone to the side, you get a much um, much nicer, uh, bigger chart that you can see trends much more clearly on.
So the app will also let you create orders to be triggered in future if a stock goes up or down in, and, and meets a price that you set. So let's go into Vodafone rolling again. Um, let's say I want to I want to get in on this uh, on this trade if the price drops to one pound sixty. I want to start shorting it. So I just open a I create an order and I say I'm going to go in for uh, five pounds if the uh, price hits one sixty. And I'm going to set my direction so and I can choose good until the end of the day, good until cancelled, good forever. I'm just going to say yeah, good until cancelled. So um, I can set a stop or limit here. Um, it's good practice too, but I'm not going to right now for this for the purposes of this demonstration. Um, so I place order, and a confirmation appears. Now at any time, let's say I change my mind. I can go back into, uh, I can just go into my order screen, see how this order's doing, and if I no longer want it, delete it. So if you don't have a, the City Index app installed, go into the App Store. Uh, it's called City Trading Pro. It's a really quick um, download. You will need a live City Index account to use it, um, but you can create one on the website and then go straight into the app and start trading.